Hello, 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 and welcome to The Conversation with Stevie. This is the place where we uncover the why behind what people do. And so today we are into another She Soars campaign interview. Yay, I'm super excited. And to just introduce you to myself, I am Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills. I help Christian women to get seen and get paid online. And I do that because I know you deserve visibility. So without any further ado, we are going to welcome back another C-Soar celebrity who is near and dear to my heart. Her name is Brenda Sawyer. Hi, Miss Brenda. How are you? I am great. Thank you, Stevie. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you so, so much. It has been um, a while, but we are well acquainted, and <laughs> I, we I just want you to introduce yourself to the people who may not know who you are, please. Okay, well, again, I am Brenda Sawyer, and I am the founder of Girls Walking with Integrity, Empowering for Destiny, where I do mentor and equip Christian women between the ages of 45 and 65 with strategies to move from pain to purpose by encouraging, empowering, and transforming their lives through biblical principles and teaching while leaving an indelible legacy for posterity and confidence. Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I love the fact that that's such a great age range. I am at the 45-year old (laughs) range of that. And I know you have so much wisdom. So tell us, how young are you? I love to share this fact so people can conceptualize. I am, <laughs> I am 75 years young. <laughs> I'll yes. reach another birthday, God willing, this year. Yeah. All right. All right. Y'all heard that. So that means that she has <laughs> firsthand knowledge of those 20 years of experience and those 20 years that she serves. So tell us, what made you choose 45 to 65? Well, because sometimes these are the women that I'm running into that are struggling with different things they're going with and going through in their lives, like the pains of divorce, the pain of abuse and uh, neglect, things like that. So I'm experiencing that. I'm speaking more to them to that age range and they're, you know, maybe abusive relationships that they are probably still in and are trying to come out of. So that's who I'm speaking to. And I'm running into people like that. So, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, even biologically, you know, 45 through 65, those are the ages that people experience in perimenopause and menopause. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just even in that, that adds to the equation, too. Oh, yeah. Adds, so what would you say is one of your biggest success stories with someone in this age group? Hmm. Well, when they come back and tell me that they've gleaned so much from my coaching with them from a one-on-one, they've gleaned so much and how they come back and just say, wow, you know, I've learned so much from you, and these are the strategies that work in my life. And that's what, that's one of my biggest wins. I mean, I, that's, that's, I think that's the most important one. When they actually come back and tell you that they've gleaned a lot, they've learned a lot, they've learned to move through the, you know, from the pain to the purpose. So that's what I would take away as one of my wins. Awesome. We know that you're also an international best-selling author. Tell us about your writing. Oh, boy. There's so much to tell. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I, I've collaborated with so, 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 so many people with uh, through anthologies. Um, wow. I've been on billboards. I've uh, collaborated with, uh, um, oh, my goodness, the last, the last collaboration I did was with uh, Vernisa Blackwell, and that's 300, Joy 365 Days, and that's to reach women with devotions um, to read daily. And that's one of my 
uh, last ones I did, but I've done so many I can't even remember. Um, and uh, of course, I promote my own book, um, and I just wanted to say that since I've been on here uh, before. Of course, the encouraging words for the mind, spirit, and soul is where it all started. That's of course in English, uh, paperback, uh, Kindle, and audio, but also in Spanish. And last year, I wrote it, had it written in French. Now I'm um, going to have it written in Arabic. So that's the book that I'm promoting as well because that's where it all started in 2014 uh, when being transparent that I did not want to be an author, but I was encouraged to be one. So other than that, I would not have gone, you know, been on this journey with all of these other anthologies and collaborations that I am doing if I had not said yes to the person who encouraged me to write uh, in 2014. So thus named the book, Encouraging Words for the Mind, Spirit, and Soul. Yeah. So we're going to get it out there in Arabic soon. It'll be in four different languages. Y'all better listen to this woman. She is becoming an international phenomenon. I'm trying to tell you now, when I get to your amazing age, I, I listen, I hope to have accomplished all the stuff <laughs> too. This is amazing. And so tell us what is – the most thing you're excited about the most right now in your life? Wow. Well, I'm excited about me- meeting new people, meeting new people, collaborating. That seems to be the key, you know, to, to just meeting new people, collaborating with them. I'm also uh, reaching out to other uh, women uh, on the When Win Women Network every Thursday for about two years now, we we, we uh, network with the Win Win Women, and we have a broadcast at four o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard, where we reach out to women all over the world, and um, it's working out very well because you know we have guests on, uh, they respond to uh, our, our our you know our content we have on. And it's empowering. It's encouraging and empowering women all over the world. So I, I would say my collaborations and meeting the people, and some people I have not even met before, but we still collaborate, and I've never even met them. And I'm just thinking, like, how big God is and such a great connector he is when he's connecting you with all of the people that you've never even met, but you're still being able to collaborate with them and have, you know, your board meetings, you know, like <laughs> every week, and you don't know them, but you're still collaborating and you're still being able to um, have something in common with women. Since this is Women's History Month, we yes, we reach out to women all over the world, and um, they respond very positively um, about our content. You know, we had fin- and we just did a financial literacy, which was live on uh, Facebook, and we did that for four weeks, and we then you know recapped it on our show. Uh, the When Win Women, The Joys of Living Great, we did that um, on every Thursday. We would recap that each time we did it on Facebook. So we talked about financial literacy where, you know, we're getting people out of debt, uh, not, you know, just the different tips that we gave them. And they were really uh, re- receptive and responsive uh, to those uh, tips that we gave. So it's just basically collaborating with everybody and, meeting some of the people and not even knowing some of the, knowing them, but not really meeting them face to face. Yeah. We are excited that you've become a chief or a celebrity. What made you say yes to this opportunity? Well, I just wanted to continue to soar, you know, like the eagle I am. <laughs> I'm going to continue to soar and reach uh, the women and reach populations that I probably never – would reach, and so I wanted to reach it through this particular platform, and um, that's the reason I did it. And of course, I like working with you, Dr. Stevie. <laughs> so that's yeah, yeah reaching the I, multitudes. I, yes, I love working with you. You are amazing. You're just by your very being, you are inspirational. So that is something that we all apply. And the way that you're so young, I always say young about you because you're doing some incredible things that people need to know about. And the question I want to ask you next is, as a retired educator and best-selling author, 
how do you integrate your experiences and expertise into your mentoring strategies that you have for your clients? Well, I, I integrate those through the teaching that I give on Clubhouse. I have a room called Testimony Tuesday. Every Tuesday I've been doing that for at least two years now, and I also have the power of the tongue. So basically, um, when I, before I retired, I always said that I want to still be an educator, which I am, but in a different capacity. It wouldn't be in a classroom with 35 students, but it would be on a different level in a different, you know, in a different capacity. So I feel that I'm, I'm educating, continuing to educate um, and uh, import knowledge through my writing, through my interviews, through my magazine features, uh, through billboards. I was just featured on a billboard last year in Malawi, and I didn't have to be there. That was the, the greatest part. I, I, I'd like to go one day, but I didn't have an opportunity to do so, but I was featured on the, the uh, billboard for my book. So um, just doing great things like that and reaching people, getting that knowledge out there to people and to help them, you know, the nuggets. You know, and someone mentioned yesterday, you know, I don't even see a cash app on you <laughs> because, you, you know, but there is, there are times when there is an investment, yes, and there are times when you just want people to glean from you. You know, you're going to, you're going to impart the knowledge, and they're going to receive. And I and I I do believe that they receive it very well. Receive the knowledge that I am imparting because the classroom. You know, you can't take you can take the teacher out of the classroom, but you can't take the classroom or the teaching out of the teacher. So it's always going to be um, in instilled in me to teach and to um, have people glean from whatever I'm, I'm teaching them. And it, it just gives me joy, you know. It gives me joy because I love teaching. It's just something that I do, and I have a lot of my students that follow me. And, uh, I mean, from 25 years, a lot of the – some of them are um, attorneys, doctors, and I'm just thinking, wow, you know, I look at the pictures and I'm thinking, my goodness, these, ch- these children, and not children anymore – but uh, have all grown up, and they have their own uh, lifestyle, their own future, their own, uh, uh, you know, uh, positions, and uh, they're just doing great things. So I know that it comes from that teaching. It's that teaching. It's I wanted to always be a different type of teacher, um, not, uh, you know, cha- not outside, well, and more of outside the box, not inside the box, you know, where I would teach different things, you know, conflicts, re- conflict resolution, things like that. I wanted to make sure I prepared them for um, the outside world. So my teaching skills, everything that about me is teaching is knowledge because I am a lifelong learner and I don't think it ever stops. So whatever I'm learning, I'm teaching. So I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs> it did. It did. Thank you so much. We have to get your contact information before you leave, and I just want to say thank you so much for all that you do, all that you are, and keep soaring. You are an amazing woman. So please do give us your contact information. Yes. You can uh, contact me on brendasawyer.com, and you can also um, reach me uh, the email of Brenda Sawyer 084 at gmail.com. So those are the two. And you can see me on Instagram too under Brenda Sawyer. Under, awesome. I just got a call coming in. I just got a call coming in. But under Brenda Sawyer um, encourages. So that's uh, something you can do as well. And yeah. All right, you guys, definitely connect to Ms. Brenda Sawyer because she is doing amazing things. You heard about her podcast and you heard about her books. You heard about everything she is doing, and she is just a person you need to look at and say, thank God for long lasting in life because she is doing the daggone thing. Y'all hear me? If you ever want to connect with me, just know how to spell my first name correctly, (laughs) S-T-E-V-I-I, and you can go to Stevie.com, again, Stevie.com. I always end everything I do literally the same way, Mm -hmm. and it is to say, make it a great day. Don't have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and, yes, you too 
have the power to do so. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>